What's up, boys? Today we're doing a play review on 88 rated to Todibo. I think I said that correctly, but he is a 6 3 center back, French from Ligue 1. A lot of strong links there. Medium high work rates, the best work rates for center backs by far. And very few center backs that are good this year are 6'3". A lot of the good center backs, like Marquinhos, are, are short. They're around 6 foot, 5'11". So to have a good center back like this at 6 foot is definitely, definitely a bonus. 6'3 as well. Right footed. Two, three star skills, two star weak foot. Shouldn't be an issue with the card and it wasn't in game. You can ping him up for around 103k. I think his price will drop a bit when... League One team of season comes out and there's just more more variety of center backs even though there already is a bunch of French League One center backs in this game. Moving on to his in-game stats, something I usually don't like in oh, yes! center backs is low acceleration, but with the Shadow Chem style, he gets plus eight to his acceleration and plus seven to his sprint speed, and I think it's more than enough because the sprint speed is solid. You get him on a straightaway, he's going to catch pretty much any striker in the game. The issues come with his jockeying, his side-to-side -side movement, but it was definitely good with the shadow. I think without the shadow, I used him a couple games out the shadow, and I think it was a bit of a bit of a hindrance to his acceleration but having the 84 and plus 8 on that get him all the way up in the 90s is definitely definitely a, a bonus for him and he was able to stay in front of all the crazy left stick dribblers and a lot of a lot of good strikers moving on to passing 73 base passing stat but he has 90 short passing and 81 long passing more than more than good enough with a two-star weak foot you probably want to hit it on his right foot most of the time especially if you're making long crosses trying to swing the ball from the back definitely hit it on his right foot the short passing was really good he was able to switch the ball really well pass power passes on the ground in the air everything was really good 81 long passing as well very solid don't let the 73 passing set deter you this card can pass the ball and he can pass it really well it's just the other sets don't really matter as much with regards to center backs as they're not taking free kicks crossing curving it, it just doesn't matter as much dribbling wise he felt pretty smooth on the ball it didn't feel super clunky for a guy that's 6'3 he did feel obviously bigger he felt like he was 6'3 it wasn't one of those cards where he's super tall and he feels like an absolute silky yam boy like jammy tammy abraham the foot birthday card but this card was definitely good able to move for a center back was able to move very well very responsive 82 reactions good enough ball control is 83 and dribbling is 75 so composure also 88 is definitely an underrated stat and i think it is very very necessary to have a center back with good composure because it's a bit of a theory but low composure tends to lead to those ea mistakes or ea moments as we like to call them there's a there's a less PG word I would use to describe that, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. 88 composure, good enough. In the 70s is when you start to see those, those crazy moments, as I call them. But 88 interceptions, defending is really good. 86 heading, 89 defensive. I wish the, the standing tackle was more balanced out among among the stats. 94 standing tackle is very good. He made a lot of standing tackles. Very, very big presence on the ball. And with the shadow, gets a plus 13 to his sliding tackle, which is insane. Gets a plus 8 to interceptions, plus 4 to heading, uh, plus 4 to defensive awareness, and plus 5 to standing tackle, getting standing tackle all the way up to 99, which is absurd for this card. Having an 88 pace center back with 92 sprint speed and 99 standing tackle in on, in May, in May, before all the league team of seasons come out is insane, especially having him with the amount of links that he has, but we will get to his links later. Physical wise, 89 physical, but that doesn't really tell you the whole story. He's huge. He's got great, great strength, great aggression, and good jumping. Stamina is a bit lacking, but you don't really notice it as much because he is fast. He gets slower over the game. Yes, that is definitely true, but it's not in incredibly slower to where he can't really keep in front of players he does keep in front of players really well and the aggression and strength combination helps him sort of shield off opponents if he is in a running model side by side with his opponent he's going to shield the ball press l2 spam l2 get him off get get your opponent off the ball and for player traits he's got long passer long passer is definitely good for center backs i really like it with his 81 long passing and 90 short passing he can definitely definitely ping the ball around with the best of them so that is a, one of my favorite traits you don't really see it that often especially for center backs so it's that is definitely a bonus it is an underrated part of this card and a big thing about this card that you obviously like is the links there is a lot of strong links with this card french center backs from league Un. there is a bunch of center backs from league Un that are french and the first one that comes to mind is probably kim pembe there's also saliba uh, Kimpembe, Koza's really good. I, I used him beside Koza in game and I thought he was incredible. And also there are a lot of soft links as well with the likes of Marquinhos, Sergio Ramos, Jose Font, 
uh, Mendina. There, there's, there's incredible center backs in Ligue 1, and this isn't even team of season. So when Marquinhos gets a team of season card, there will be a lot of other cards that get team of season cards. And there's also French cards, French midfielders. Any French midfielder in this game that you want to link him to, uh, strong link wise, not strong link wise, there is just an incredible amount of French midfielders in this game that you can link him to that I think is great. To, it's just a great thing. Yeah, Sedan, Conte, the strong link with Awar, uh, Vieira, if you're really balling on a budget. There is also uh, in Kunku, and Kunku's probably going to get a card, Makelele, Fakir, so many French cards to link with him in game. Probably why his price, why he's such good value. Toliso as well, 90, Kamavinga, 90. There's in Indombele, who did that SBC, Paul Pogba, Bamba. There is in, in Chuameni. There's so many good players to link with in this game. And I think it's just overall a really, really good center back card, especially for the value of 103K. Let me check his price right now to see if that has shifted a bit. I do see 106K, 107K, nothing under 100K right now, 104K. Yeah, pretty much the exact same as what I bought him for. So it is very, very good to have this card for that price, I think. It will definitely drop when Ligoon comes out. So maybe if you want to try him out now, sell him, then pick him up again later. That can be a smart option if you want to do that. But for the price, you get a complete center, but you get a rock in defense. You get someone with speed, size, defensive class. He's tech, he's very, he's got a bit of flair to him. He, he makes tackles. He is very very solid on the ball and i think he's just an overall good card you might want to pick up try out during team of the season so that's really going to do it for the video boys if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time